real rusty down there. And surprisingly, that's pretty. Hi, and welcome back. I think uh, this evening we're going to start on the you know, driver's side tub, like we did on the passenger side, grind all down, paint it black. I think I'm going to break it up into the probably three videos, hopefully. Uh, tonight we're going to just get like the outside by the door up on the bed rail and back down on that post by the uh, tailgate. If I got a little bit more time, we'll start getting inside there. But uh, I think the post is going to take me one one full day to get it all down. And then uh, once we get it all down, we'll let <clears throat> spray with some of that rust reformer black. And after that, we're going to need to need a Bronco this way. I got to get to the other side. Maybe a day of putting this on the dollies, bringing as far over here as I need to. And then taking it back down and putting the barco back on the dollies and bringing it over. So I'm, I'm wanting to get it where I can turn it in here. Like some things have to come out. Like I'm thinking about putting this table in one of the barns in the back. That'll give me a little bit more room over here. Anyways, at least this week we'll spend our time on the Bronco getting that all uh, ground down and painted that flat black. Let's head over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I said driver's side. Well, go did my meant uh, passenger side. We're going to start over here. Grind this all down, work our way up and over, and down this side. If we have enough time, we'll start in here and get this ground down, and on that side too. But I think uh, the wheel tub's gonna take, uh, it might not take a whole day, but uh, so we got part of it already done. Well, we'll get that and then all this inside here and hopefully have it all painted flat back, or well, that rust performer black by uh, the Friday after Thanksgiving. I guess this Friday coming up. Is my plan, and like I said before, this Bronco that I can't really get where I need to be for the floor, so it needs to come this way. So that means this needs to move that way. So I probably will put this truck on the dollies that the Bronco's on, push it over, take the dollies out, and then put them back on the Bronco and push the Bronco over. So that might be a whole uh, day in itself doing that and cleaning up everything around here sweeping i need to sweep bad but uh tonight yep yeah, we're just gonna focus on this see how far we get
Well, I think that's all I got in me tonight. Back and knees starting to hurt, so continue the rest next time. At least we did get that sanded down. Try to get in there best I could. Uh, that should just be, uh, shouldn't be able to see that little bit of paint that's in there, hopefully. But uh, next time we may try and get the tub. See my Bronco, it feels real wobbly. But when you get more of those, those work great. I'll use those on the flat spots. And then I may, may get me another wire wheel. That one seems to be uh, losing a bunch of stuff, especially in my fingers. But of course we'll wire wheel where we, where we can and I'll try to get as much of that rust out as I, as I can. I'm sure there's dirt dollars nest behind that one too. But we'll uh, try to blow all those out and get it where it's not so bad looking. But no surprises on what we did. Didn't find no holes. Uh, it was real rusty down there. And surprisingly, that's pretty good metal. It's kind of nervous, that area over there. Anyways, uh, it's coming along. Hopefully we'll be done with this this week. Well, that's all I got for you tonight. See you next time.